Your team diarrhea? Even the paparazzi team diarrhea? Hi. <laughs> On God, Mango. <laughs> Everybody likes their head being touched. I know you do. Both of them. I have never been so physically close to men in a really long time. Then so what am I? <laughs> no, but you're you're you're. <laughs> Yes, I'm wearing my Korean minus 5k jeans. I'm a freaking hypocrite, but they're really comfortable These are the types of jeans when you're standing up you feel good Everything feels loose and then you sit down and that undie is just shoved 25 feet into your asshole Good morning. It's really early and I woke up early today because I'm going to the hair salon. I'm getting my hair done I know I know I know I know I have just been bragging about how long and luscious my hair is how it's the length that I finally wanted That was about two months ago, and then for whatever reason it just kept growing I thought it would stop when I reached my goal. I'm like this is too much now This is what I do every time I go to the bathroom because if I just sit down on the toilet my hair will touch the toilet seat. That's so disgusting. So now I grab all of my hair to the front and I put my I put it in my shirt. <laughs> and then I sit down and I pee. And that is when I realized it's about time. And it's also not sanitary because every time I shower, in between the walls of my butt crack is just my hair. It just slips in. And I'm like, that's not that's not really hygienic. So we're going to the hair salon. I'm gonna get a light trim. For some reason, there's a part of me that feels like I need to dye my hair. I need to upstage my fiance with his tattoo. I was thinking, do I dye it pink? Do I dye it purple? But I probably won't dye it at all, so. So before we get started, I saw a lot of people commenting on the last couple of videos where I said that my fiance is going from dad to daddy and people were like, whoa, 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 is this a sign that you guys are trying to get pregnant? No, not yet. Not 2021 at least. So that is why I'm on Simple Health. You guys already know. You guys already know Simple Health. So if you guys don't know Simple Health, it's an online, convenient, affordable, confidential birth control service, which I'm gonna leave a link in the description. All you do is fill out your health profile, whether you already have a birth control that you love or whether you just wanna start a birth control, fill out that health profile. Simple Health has licensed OBGYNs and physicians. We're gonna take a look at that health profile and prescribe you the best birth control for you. They've got over a hundred different brands of the pill, the patch, and the ring. And they will ship it to you every single month. No more going to the doctor's office. No more going to Rite Aid, the pharmacy, every month to fill your prescription. It gets shipped to you in confidential packaging. You're like, wow, what a luxury, Stephanie. How much do you pay for that? How much do you pay for that? Well, if you guys have health insurance, Simple Health accepts most health insurances, making this process completely free to most of you. And if you don't have health insurance, don't worry. It starts at $15 a month, which is super affordable. Now, on top of that, I was just getting ready to leave, which is why I'm taking all my vitamins, okay? These are some of my simple health vitamins that I'm obsessed with. They target my reproductive system. Anything to keep me away from going to the kind of college's office, unless it's an annual appointment, I'm gonna do it. They have this probiotic blend, which you guys know I'm obsessed with probiotics. It's great for your gut. It's also really good for your reproductive system, and it comes in these capsules. I take one every single morning. And then this is the urinary tract support, which has 500 milligrams of a powerful cranberry extract to help you fight those UTIs. And then the Daily 5, which is a 5-in-1 multivitamin formulated for your reproductive health. Also, these can be shipped with your birth control or shipped separately, however you want to do it. If you guys are interested, I have a code BISS, B-I-S-S, where you can get a free consultation. Thank you, Simple Health, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get my hair done. Wait, before I get started, I want to show you guys my outfit of the day. My wedgie jeans. Okay, so these are the 5K jeans Hobbit in a size medium. It's a little bit loose, but it's fine. I like it a little bit loose. And then this is a tank top that I got from AliExpress for $8. Honestly, great investment. The thread is coming off. Oh, sh can you take off the thread? And then this is a cardigan that I got from Shein. And I'm gonna be wearing my Vessi mask. Just a lot going on right now. Oh, I'm straight. I need something to hold the camera up. I just got home. 
Do you guys like it? Can you even see it? I wanted to show you guys before I go inside and show my fiance. So I got it colored. I didn't think that they were gonna have any availability, but I think they just like gave me a very light base color, so I matched the roots. If I keep looking at the viewfinder, it's because honestly, I didn't have time to look in the mirror. And like, you know when you're at the hair salon these days, it's like you've got your mask on, you have no idea what you look like. I mean, you have an idea what your hair looks like, but what do you look like? I'll figure it out, but let's see what my fiance has to say. I also got more layers throughout it. It's not a wolf cut, but it's also not a blonde haircut. I don't know what this is, but I feel a million times lighter. I feel like I am saving brain cells right now. World's best reverse park that I finally learned how to do perfectly. Ignore the sensors, they're just dramatic. Let's go inside and show him. Okay, I'm gonna be vlogging it. Honey? Close your eyes! Are you napping? Why are the curtains closed? Okay, open it! Whoa! What did you do? You don't like it? I like it, well, I don't know what happened. I dyed it darker so it's all the same color. They gave me layers to make it look a lot lighter for summer, no? Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah. In case suddenly I'm shy, I'm gonna go. But what if she got a tattoo though? Yes, yeah, sister. So what if I got a tattoo? I don't know. Are you ready? Mm, no. <laughs> you don't wanna see it? Ta da! I didn't get a tattoo. I dyed my hair. <laughs> and they cut it. What do you think? I was about to get so upset. <laughs> Why? It's cute. What was it like before? It was down to my butt crack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks so much better. And yeah. it was like the, the, the hair dye was getting like brown here and then black up here. Mm -hmm. Now show her the tattoo. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, my fiance has awoken from his nap. Yes, I just have watermelons over there next to a pile of hot Cheetos. Don't be judging my kitchen. What's in your kitchen? He ordered this online, which is very suspicious. It's a very <laughs> odd method of ordering fresh fruit is via the internet, but you can do anything online. So no, this is a black <laughs> market is a great source of uh... source of fresh stuff. He cut his own hair today while I was at the hair salon, <laughs> and after I get back, all he did was a trim. I dyed it and cut off like, I don't know, half a foot. And you want to be like, well, what about my haircut? You didn't say anything about my haircut. Well, I just want to clarify something. I used to go to salons, but yeah. ever since COVID, <laughs> I just cut my own hair now. My haircut skill is getting better and better. Yeah, it is. Honestly, oh. it feels like you just got a haircut from a barber. Yeah. Yeah, his yeah. haircut and skills And I don't get good. that feeling after a barber. Mm -hmm. I always get that feeling. I was like, oh, shit. Man, I wish he could have done it differently. Yeah. This, I don't have that feeling. Because you're perfect at it. Yeah, I look good, I feel good, I <laughs> save time, save money. Anyway, this video is about my hair! <laughs> Here's what's going on. We're microwaving some chicken, we're microwaving some quesadillas because I didn't eat before I left because it was too early in the morning. Listen, bitch. I feel like I have more brain cells now. Less strain on the head. So if you guys hear me talking smarter, being smarter, being educated, it's the haircut. Boom. So I know everyone and their mom is making pesto eggs on TikTok. Yes, I just looked at it and put it back down for aesthetics. But I saw someone who did an Asian twist of this instead of pesto. So the pesto eggs, if you guys haven't seen, they put a layer of pesto instead of olive oil, crack two eggs, sunny side up pesto eggs. Apparently it's delicious. But I saw some Asians online who were doing chili oil eggs. But isn't yeah. that just, you put some chili oil on top no. of it? No. So we're gonna get a scoop of this one and I'm gonna be mixing two different chili oils because I'm a chili oil master these days. It's so good, they said. Who said? All of this one person. <laughs> Why All are you? All of this whole person. Now I crack. Boom, boom, two, three. Fascinating, I tell you. Okay, then you're gonna get all of your leftover rice and then you're gonna pour that on top when it's cooked. All right, that might be a little good. <laughs> See, would you rather eat this or our shitty vegan vegetarian quesadilla? Delicious chili oil eggs. I know oh. that uh, you like something when it's cooking because he gets very predatory over the stove. Predatory? <laughs> he just takes over. Do you think it's ready? Yeah, I, I think, think it's so. ready. Okay, just pour it on. <gasps> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That looks so good. 
I love TikTok. Look at those beautiful yolks. There's rice underneath. I'm gonna use my fork. I'm gonna pop one of them. Do you see that popped yolkage? Get the rice, get the chili oil. Why would anyone eat eggs any other way? I'm gonna give you a big bite. It's almost like eating flavorful. a bowl of ramen or something. It's so flavorful. Whoa. I gotta get that yolk. Oh my god, that's pretty freaking good. Oh my god, that's good. Wow. This is um, a little addicting. Yeah. Well, he's really going in right now, so we're gonna eat lunch and I'll be right back. Like, every time I eat, I would have to braid my hair. I would have to put on a headband. And the fact that I can only just use one hair tie right now. Usually I have to use like three hair ties because it's so heavy, it's so thick, it's so long. But now, just one. I feel effortless. I now have a rule for myself. If it doesn't cover my titties, I'm not getting it. I look like I'm about to go work out. I'm just eating lunch. <laughs> Welcome to dinner. I've got a new knife. Do you see this? It matches the watermelon. Is it sharp? Probably not. Oh, it's kind of sharp. So I'm making dinner. For those who don't know, I'm about to show you guys one of the best summer noodle hacks is to put noodles into a watermelon. You think that that's nasty. Well, really, what are chicken nuggets? So this was supposed to be a mukbang, which is why I'm using this setup, but uh, my dog is sick again. <laughs> Mango actually spent the past week or so, no, maybe like four or five days at the vet at emergency care. That was just so freaking ridiculous. So she started diarrhea. No, she started throwing up. We freaked out, took her to the vet. They're like, hey, absolutely nothing's wrong with her. We ran all of these tests, x-rays. What else did they do? Blood work, vitals. So she wasn't just throwing up. She was like... Like lethargic and... Yeah, and yeah. just... She can't hold anything down. Yeah. So she would drink water and just project out. Yeah, I was trying to avoid the details because we're like scooping out watermelon, but you're like yeah. projectile vomiting. <laughs> yeah, and sh Nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> they ran all of these tests on her and they told us nothing's wrong. She probably just has a stomach ache. This is Korean cold noodle. Noodle. Why are why, why you all putting watermelon? Because it has a little bit of sweetness. It has that freshness, mm. keeps it cold. So this is spicy cold noodle. Whoa. And then put the egg there. Whoa, Do look at mine. That? Wow, yours looks Whoa, good. Look at mine. What the heck? Why does yours look better? Oh, that looks cool. So Stephanie just taught me what watermelon and sugar mean. <laughs> he said it genuinely meant watermelon. It was a summer song about fruit. And he was like, why does Harry Styles love fruit so much? And I'm like, babe, that... That just, you know, this just changes everything I think of him. Like, I thought he was a sweet, wholesome man. He's sweet and wholesome. And he enjoys some watermelon sugar on summer days. It's just really, like... <laughs> If you mm. want to really try the watermelon, get it from like the side. Because oh, this peeping namyeon sometimes comes with either pears sliced on top, sometimes mm. apples. Mm. Oh, it's really good with watermelon. Oh, it's so good. Have you tried it with watermelon? Okay, now I have to try. I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't actually tried it with like just watermelon. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Wow. Mm. Mm. You don't have to do dishes. Cause this is your bowl. You just carry it around like this. Eat your noodles. Mm. Wow. And I also have this on the side that I'm stoked for. So we take her back to the hospital because she's diarrhea and she's going through all of this stuff. They keep telling us they run all these tests. They even have like radiologists, like specialists look at her x-rays because they're thinking, well, maybe there is something wrong in there. Maybe out of all of the surgeries that she's had in her life, which is quite a few, not a shame on my parenting, but just, um. Yeah, she's had a lot of surgeries. So they thought maybe like one of the suture, not a suture, but something might have happened in her stomach, right? So they thought, let's do x-rays. We do even more x-rays. We do even more scans. And finally, they told us, yeah, clinically, there's nothing wrong with her, but she is projectile diarrheaing every two seconds. So she had to stay at the vet because there's no way that we could take care at of her, right? At this point, she's yeah. leaking. Yeah, that's she's, what everyone says. They say Mango is stamping. Ew. So everywhere she goes, as soon as she sets down, she leaves a stamp. Honey, yeah. <laughs> and so she stayed there for the next like five days. We brought her home and we had this show situation where the minute that we bring her home, the vet is like, she's completely fine now. She's not doing that thing anymore. We bring her home, sit her down for two seconds and she starts running, booking it, trying to get into every room of every 
every single opening in this house and she is just leaving a trail. <laughs> a smelly, hot, juicy trail. And we called the vet and they still have no idea what's wrong with her. Whoa. What the heck is that? Jalapeno? Yeah. A whole lot of jalapeno? It's a fried jalapeno. Holy moly. She's gonna be constipated now for a couple of days. And then she will poop normally, so. So that was what's going on with her. And Are we then... doing a mukbang right now? <laughs> oh, this is so good. Mm hmm And spicy. I have a pusam. Yes, I'm doing a mukbang. You put the pusam in the wrap, get your king cheese. So when I went to I the do want to yes. know, like, if anybody has any suggestion with pet insurance. Pet insurance is a true luxury. Mm -hmm. In my eyes. For the longest time, I didn't have insurance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we need to get mango insurance because at this point every time my mango gets sick recovers afterwards We are like what are yeah. the odds that she's gonna go through something so traumatic again never and then it happens Almost at the year mm -hmm. like it's always once a year, which is strange um, I saw a lot of people saying it's because she's a Frenchie, but we have tiger who's also the same breed We got it um at different places though, right? Yeah We should definitely inv investigate into some insurance. I went to the salon today. I think I'm stress eating because that salon trip was stressful. <laughs> Why? I tried to put on a brave face because I was like, if I think about it too much, I'm gonna get too anxious that I'm not gonna go to the salon. I hate hair salons. I never say it's an LA thing because I genuinely think that most LA things that are horrendous are because of all the people like me that are moving into LA and making it horrendous, you know? I feel like most of like the local spots that have been around for a really long time, they're super chill. But hair salons in LA are one of those things where I feel really out of place. I feel really uncomfortable. Everyone is very, just like they look put together. And I just get really uncomfortable. And today I walked in there and I had like five people working on my hair, which sounds super bougie, but everyone had their own assistant. There was a different person who was washing my hair. There were two people who were coloring my hair, two people who were cutting my hair, and the two people who were coloring my hair, they're really good at their job, but I think they get bored while they're coloring my hair. So they're talking, and I am an, a professional eavesdropper. So I'm listening to them talking, and it like gets me psyched out, because they did mention a customer, right? Like another customer, that wasn't me. At least I don't think it was me. Right? <laughs> and I was like, they're probably talking about me to other customers! Like, while they're doing other customers here, they're probably talking about me! So I got psyched out Is that not that. kind of unprofessional? Unprofessional, yes! That's like the first thing that you learn in customer service. When I was a cashier, they said, never! I mean, first of all, why would you? But like, never talk about customers with other cashiers if no. there's a customer on the floor. Exactly. Because like, imagine you're like, I can't believe that customer wanted only organic apples. And you're like, checking out a customer. I worked at Whole Foods. That's bizarre. Like, this customer's not gonna feel happy, right? But they were like, talking about the other customer. And I was like, I bet they're gonna be talking about me. And then, my hair cutting part, it was two guys working on my hair. I have never been so physically close to men in a really long time. Then so, what am I? <laughs> no, but you're 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 my you're my fiance <laughs> to strange men. And they're really nice, okay? They're really professional. They were actually super professional, did not talk about other customers, were like keeping it clean, keeping it PG, super sweet, right? Mm -hmm. They're doing my hair. And I, I start getting nervous because I have social anxiety. But then here's what's happening in my head. I'm getting nervous that I, they think that I like them. <laughs> Wait, what? So in my head, I, I start getting nervous because I'm so anxious. I'm like, oh my god, like, I, okay, should I say something? Is it weird that I'm just like sitting here quietly? And like they put this cape over me so I can't even use my phone. So uh -huh. I'm literally just staring at the mirror and I was like, okay, but if I stare at the mirror, they're going to think I'm a narcissist because like why is she staring at herself while we're like cutting her hair? Okay, so if, but if I stay at the ground, then it's going to look like, am I sleeping? Am I depressed? Like what's going on? Are they going to think that I'm like, don't want to talk to them? But if I stare at one of them in the mirror, then it's, it seems like I like them. So I'm like, thinking all of these things and I'm like oh my god okay I'm panicking I'm panicking I'm panicking and then I realize I look in the mirror I glance in the mirror and I look nervous I think I look nervous mm -hmm. so I'm like oh my god they probably think that I'm nervous because I like one of them. Bruh. And then I'm like, okay, how do I show them that I don't like one of them? And I was like, okay, <laughs> do I just like rip out my left hand and show them that my ring? But then they're gonna think, why would she show us our ring? Like, are we hitting on her? We're not even hitting on her. Uh -huh. We don't even like her. She's ugly. So then I'm thinking, no, 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 that's like really rude because they genuinely were not hitting on me and I wasn't hitting on them. Like it was like the most PG thing ever. But my social anxiety was just leading me down this tumble of thoughts. It was going wild. Wild, I tell you. And then towards the end of it, I was like, oh my god, I valeted the car. How am I gonna, how should I tip the valet? 
Like, do I just do it like this? Do I do it like this? Do I do it like this? Do I do it like a thank you? You don't, like, you, you don't you? do a handshake and just slip the no, money? No! I can't do a handshake. Like, I'm like, do I... And then at one point, I had, a, I had a, almost a full-on meltdown because I was like, oh my god, I only brought enough cash for the valet, which means that I'm going to tip them using my credit card, right? So I go, to the, I go to the front desk, they charge me for the services, and then I tip them, right? But then I'm thinking to myself, what if they think I left without tipping them? Which is to dumb. who? Hairdresser? Yeah, which is hairstylist, which is dumb because uh, these days nobody just like tips people in cash, I mm -hmm. feel like, right? But I was so convinced that they were gonna think that I wasn't tipping them. <laughs> Should I tell them, like, I left your tip out there? But that's also weird. So. <laughs> mm, I'm pretty sure they're talking about you right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're eating noodles out of a watermelon talking about me. Do you guys do that? Because I just got comfortable with my other hair salon, but they're all the way in Laguna Beach, which is about a two and a half hour drive. And they're really good at extensions. That's, they, that's what they specialize in. So now that I don't get extensions, it'd be kind of moot point to drive that long. Just get a haircut. Mm -hmm. So this was my first time there. Oh, it's so stressful. I'm like getting stressed right now thinking about it. I cannot be the only one that thinks like this. I know for people who don't have anxiety, social anxiety, this is gonna sound so dumb. Like there are people dying. These are such first world problems. And it is, it is, but wow. I think most people probably feel this way in like maybe like a job interview. You're like <laughs> just observing, over analyzing everything because you're so nervous. You care so much. But I guess for people like you, you're constantly feeling that way, even to strangers. That's strange, huh? Just mm -hmm. anybody to you. Mm -hmm. Like a stranger on the street walking by, past by you. You feel like they're judging you? Mm -hmm. Why would they be judging you if they're just walking past by you? Because I'm ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally number one. <laughs> uh, you feel overly judged at hair salon. So many mirrors, just too many mirrors, too many mm. people, too many mirrors. <laughs> oh my god, at one point, mm -hmm. at one point, my mask got wet. Oh my god, this is so sad. <laughs> I hate this, okay? Why? So like, the girls who were coloring my hair, they were very aggressive, and my mask got wet in the little thing. When they're washing my hair, like half of my mask got white, okay? <laughs> okay. And I go to sit down, and the dude's like, do you want another mask? Who said this? The, the dude, oh. not, the, not the one that got it wet, right? Mm. He's like, do you want another mask? Like, your mask is wet, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like looking at it, and I didn't notice it was wet, probably because I was running through all these other scenarios in my head. I didn't notice it was wet, and then I look at it in the mirror, and I'm like, no, no, no I'm fine. And then I sat there and I was like, oh my god, he probably thinks I'm weird for not accepting another mask. He probably thinks I'm so ugly under the mask. Oh my god, <laughs> babe, come on. Oh my so god. So then I was thinking like, oh, should I just ask him for a new mask now? But then like, oh, I just, I did it, I did it. Yeah. Mm. It was bad. I tried to bring a book to read and then I couldn't. I brought my Kindle. I was like, if I pull out my Kindle, everyone's gonna think that I'm like, thinking that I'm so smart and intelligent, and I'm not. <laughs> yeah, 100%, I <laughs> yeah. would think that. I couldn't, you know, I was like, they're gonna be like, ugh, she's trying to be different in LA. And then also, the worst part about going to a hair salon is that they can kind of see your phone the whole time. So <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you, Stephanie will text me. <laughs> and I will respond, right? And then she will never respond back. <laughs> and then an hour later, she would text me. <laughs> and, no, my text was, what you doing? And then he would respond. An hour later, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but I was contemplating, what do I browse? So I had my thought process. If I go on CNN, they're going to think this about my political views, which is totally fine. If I go on this website, they might think this about my political views, which is, again, totally fine. If I go on BuzzFeed, they're going to think that I have no political views and no brain cells. If I go on Reddit, they're going to think I'm like, I don't know, maybe they think I'm weird. Maybe they think I'm a loser. I don't know. What do people think of Redditors? So I just like went back and forth and back and forth. And at one point, one of them was like, what are you for a living? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I love you guys so much, but like saying that I'm a YouTuber is really embarrassing. So you say what? I said, <laughs> what the? I said the next best thing. Okay. <laughs> Which I realize is more embarrassing now. I said, um, I'm a podcaster. 
<laughs> that's that's like typical LA answer. Every person on the streets of LA. I have a podcast. <laughs> Because I thought podcast at least sounds like maybe I talk about like you know current news, politi- politics, you know stuff like that. Maybe I have like a AIPI podcast. AIPI. Yeah, I said AIPI. No. Oh, you said AIPI. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's my nerves. It's my nerves. And then they were like, "Well, how'd you get started?" And I was like, "Okay, I gotta tell them about mukbang now." <laughs> so I'm like, "Okay, fine. <laughs> okay." <laughs> when he goes to the barber shop. I love it. <laughs> it's like it's like a free it's like a buy one get one, you know. What do you mean buy one get one? Like you're buying a haircut, but you get a free head massage. <laughs> it's a buy one get one. It just feels good, you know? You, it doesn't feel good to you? Everybody likes their head being touched. I know you do. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was bad. But you're good now, right? Yeah. You don't have to go there for another, what, six months? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you don't feel any of that. You guys have to let me know if you feel this. Especially where it's like, um, I don't feel like as this much anxiety at like a grocery store. But this is like when there's one-on-one contact. Like I might feel anxiety when I'm like checking out at a grocery store. <laughs> but when I'm like walking around the grocery store, yeah, I have a little bit of like, oh, is that person like, am I in the way of this person? Oh my God, this person thinks I'm annoying because my card's in the way. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Let me run myself over with my card and kiss your feet. I can't believe I left my card where you wanted to get milk and inconvenienced you for point negative two seconds. F*** my life. That's about it. But like a hair salon, they're just like looking at you. And then I was like, what if I have a pimple on my neck? <laughs> I feel like they're gonna judge Let me. me. See. Do I have one? That's why I How do you do when yeah. you go to um when you used to go to um what is it, pedicure? Oh my god. Is that uncomfortable for you? Mm-hmm. I don't get pedicures anymore. I'm gonna go to therapy. Okay, bye. You don't like the watermelon. I do, I do, it's really good. Do you think it's better in the watermelon or without the watermelon? For sure in the watermelon. That's experience. Mm-hmm. Keeps it cold too. Yeah. Miss mm. Diarrhea? Can I get a word, Miss Diarrhea? Can I ask for a statement? Who do you think is gonna win the big fight? You or Diarrhea? Your team Diarrhea? Even the paparazzi team Diarrhea? Hi. <laughs> On God, Mango. <laughs> but I'm glad you're doing okay. Her butthole is flaming hot Cheeto red. <laughs> you guys saw. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was a little bit more chill because, uh, yeah, that was just too many feelings going out. And I hope you guys enjoyed my new hair. It'll probably never look this good ever again because they professionally styled it at the salon. And tomorrow, it's all up to me. It's all up to me and my odds are never good. I'll see you guys tomorrow.